we have got some super cheap and easy budget meals. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I thought I would sit down with you guys and share a few more of our go-to budget meals. Um, actually, I asked on Instagram what everybody's like number one budget meal was. So I do have some of them also on this list. So it's kind of not just my favorite ones, but it's a little bit of everybody's. But from asking that on Instagram, a lot of people do make the same budget meals and I get it because they're all really cheap. So I've got 10 super cheap budget meals for you guys that I'm going to be sharing today. I'm not going to be cooking in today's video. I'm just going to be sitting down going over prices with you guys and I will have the price like um, as I'm talking I will have the price breakdown on the screen for each meal so number one across the board for everybody that I, that I asked on Instagram they said spaghetti now y'all know we aren't huge fans of just basic spaghetti we normally do it baked with a little extra cheese or you know some fancy pasta or something but all in all those are still even the baked pastas, they're still super cheap to put together. You, there is so many variety, so many varieties of pasta and sauces and proteins that you can put together to make a super cheap um, spaghetti or baked pasta. So I have averaged everything out for a classic spaghetti um, with garlic bread. I will have the breakdown on the screen for you guys. So in total, with sauce, meat, noodles, and garlic bread, it came out to seven dollars and twenty nine cents that is it and that feeds your family i would say all of these price breakdowns that i'm sharing with you guys today average about four to six um people that you're going to be feeding next up number another number one that was across the board was tacos <laughs> that is another super cheap one um you can have um you know your classic meat and cheese if you have extra a little bit extra wiggle room in your budget you can add on some like shredded lettuce or chop a tomato or um um, have cheese and sour cream that's just all kind of gonna gonna kind of depend on your overall budget but for a classic meat cheese with your taco seasoning and um if you do hard shells that's seven dollars and 24 cents that is it and then if you like i said if you add on lettuce you can normally get like a dollar bag of shredded lettuce you can get um, a small dollar container of sour cream at your local walmart um, and then you can also just add on whatever other toppings um check and see if you can find any reduced like produce or um stuff that you already have in your fridge or your pantry that you can kind of load up and stretch your tacos like you could add in a can of corn you can add in a can of black beans to your taco meat to kind of stretch it and it's gonna you know not be a big price difference in your overall budget Next up, which is one of our favorites, it's Homemade Hamburger Helper. We absolutely love making Homemade Hamburger Helper. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, there is nothing wrong with box dinners. Y'all know, if you're not new here, I share box dinners on my channel all the time. It's something that I keep stocked in my prepper pantry, everyday pantry. Um, it's They're super cheap and don't feel bad for cooking um, box dinners. I had had someone recently say that she was in tears with my video because she was just so pleased and that I made her feel um, like not like a bad mom or bad parent for making box dinners and that because it, it doesn't have to be fancy. And so she thanked me for that video. And that's one of the things I always talk about in my videos is as long as your family is fed, that is all that matters. It doesn't have to be fancy. It, it doesn't. And y'all know me, we ain't fancy week to week anyways. We normally stick to budget meals and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I do these videos for you guys. Even my everyday, what's like my weekly, what's for dinner videos or these budget meals is to inspire you and to let y'all know that it is okay. It's okay to just feed your family. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be homemade. It doesn't have to be, you know, fresh produce all the time. It, it doesn't, it doesn't at all. And when she commented that it, you know, it warmed my heart because this is why I do what I do is to inspire and to share these meals and be this inspiration with you guys to, to let you know that it's okay. We're all, we're all in this together. Um, and it doesn't, 
you're doing a great job. <laughs> you're doing a great job feeding your family. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so homemade hamburger helper is definitely one of our favorites. It's one of those ones that I normally have everything in the pantry for. And it's another one of those ones where you can kind of like tweak it like you could do like a lasagna version of hamburger helper you can do like a taco version of hamburger helper you can do the classic hamburger helper cheeseburger macaroni like if you keep those ingredients on hand in your pantry you have those options to kind of play around with homemade hamburger helper so for my hamburger helper i will have that recipe linked down below for you guys it is a cheeseburger a bacon cheeseburger hamburger helper with adding everything in for the meat the noodles the milk the cream soup, the Velveeta, and the bacon bits, it comes out to $7.92. That is it for a good homemade hamburger helper. And I'm going to tell you, this homemade, this homemade hamburger helper feeds a ton of people. A ton of people. We always have leftovers when I fix this recipe. So don't forget, I will have it linked for you guys so y'all can try it out. Next, we have got sheet pan dinners. Now this is gonna be a two for one because sheet pan dinners you can do many different ways. So I have averaged out prices for using chicken thighs and I've also averaged out one using um, smoked sausage. You can use whatever protein you have. If you find like pork chops on clearance for a couple bucks, pick them up and make them into a sheet pan dinner. Um, you can use chicken thighs, you can use smoked sausage. You have so many options for cheap sheet pan dinners. So for these two, I averaged up a seasoning packet for, this is the McCormick seasoning packet, the farmer's market one. I've shared it a ton on my channel. It is delicious. It's only $1.80 and packed with flavor that you can season on your protein and your veggies and give you amazing flavor. So with the seasoning packet, um, the sausage, I averaged in carrots and potatoes because that's normally what I keep on hand. And those are really cheap veggie options to add in. That comes out to $6.36. That is it for a delicious sheet pan dinner with protein and two types of vegetables. Next up, the chicken. I normally go to, my go-to for sheet pan dinners is chicken thighs. Um, and I always find them on Markdown and grab them when I can. Um, but at Walmart, you can get a frozen bag of chicken thighs for $6.12. And I normally can get two meals out of that one bag. So that averages out to about $3.06 per meal if you get that bag, the frozen bag of um, chicken thighs from Walmart. So for the chicken thighs, the seasoning, the carrots, and the potatoes, that's $6.44 telling y'all these are some delicious and cheap budget meals for your family <laughs> next up we have got homemade pizza this is definitely one that we always do um now i'm gonna say for this one for us our kicker with this budget meal is the cheese because y'all know we like cheese so for us i did average in one bag of cheese per pizza we normally do two pizzas when we do this and we normally do either pepperoni or bacon bits so i averaged in the pizza crust um the sauce the um, pepperonis and a cheese so for two pizzas that comes out to nine dollars and nine cents for homemade and that's with using the dry packets of the pizza crust and um, I prefer the marinara sauce, the great value marinara. You're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck. Um, it's pretty, marinara is pretty much pizza sauce. It's the same consistency. So instead of buying like a little jar of pizza sauce for a dollar something, you can buy a big jar of marinara sauce and you can use it for the pizzas plus add in an extra recipe. So that's definitely cheaper compared to going to like Papa John's or Pizza Hut. We, when we order from Papa John's, we get two pizzas plus we get cheese sticks and it's easily like 35 to $40. So if you can make pizza at home, you're definitely gonna save you a ton of money. <laughs> and they're really, really good. If you've never made homemade pizzas, I would definitely give them a try. I have several videos here on my channel where I, we make homemade pizzas. It's something that we make a couple times every single month because they are delicious. Next up, this was one that a few people commented on Instagram and um, said that their go-to budget meal is goulash. Now, this one isn't personally something that we make because we're just not fans of it, um, but a lot of people did comment, so I wanted to add it in because it was a very popular budget meal idea. Um, so, for the meat, the noodles, 
So a lot of people do it, a few people commented that they do it differently. They either do um, tomato sauce or tomato paste, or they do diced tomatoes. So it's just, those are just gonna be like a few cents different depending on what you put in your goulash. Um, so for this one, I averaged it for meat, noodles, and diced tomatoes, and it comes out to $5.40. That is super cheap. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up is a barbecue chicken. Now, this one I love, <laughs> but Luke is not a fan of barbecue chicken. I know. I don't know. Y'all know he's weird. But I, there was like two or three people that commented about barbecue chicken um, on that post on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, my link is always in the description box. Y'all can go follow me there. Um, you see more like day-to-day -day stuff compared to just like one video every day on here. Um, so, of course, barbecue chicken is is super cheap, and it is very versatile. You can have it on buns. You can do it on, like, chips with cheese as, like, nachos. Um, you can just have it as is. There's, like, you can put it on salad. Like, there's so many options that you can put. Um, use the barbecue chicken. So, literally, a three-pound bag of bar of chicken breast at Walmart is $7.24 if you I normally do two meals out of one three pound bag so that comes out to three dollars and 62 cents for the chicken and then a barbecue sauce um, if you need to be like on a cheap cheap budget budget Walmart has bottles of barbecue for 98 cents and they're really good um, I've had them before and they're really good. Um, just pick which one you like or if you have your favorite barbecue sauce, then just use that. Um, so that comes out to $4.60. And then if you wanna add on buns, to have it on buns, it comes out to $5.53. I'm telling y'all, that is uh, super cheap. And it's so versatile because you can, you can do so many things with barbecue chicken. Next up is salsa chicken. This is another one that is very versatile and you can do all kinds of things with um, the same way. You can have it on hard shells, you can have it on uh, soft shells, you can put it on salad, um, you can have it over nachos, you can serve it like with rice and a couple um, can, like a can of corn and black olives, or not black olives, a can of corn and black beans and do like a burrito bowl style. Um, you like when it comes to budget meals if you have a fully stocked pantry like I talk about all the time it's so good to have a fully stocked pantry so when those weeks that you need to be on a super tight budget you can use those items from your pantry or prepper pantry to pull from and kind of round out meals so if you are on a super tight budget go get you a bag of chicken and go get you a jar of salsa and pull stuff from your pantry and bring it all together make something delicious for your family so for the chicken and for a jar of salsa it equals out to five dollars and eight cents yeah <laughs> that one is another one that is super cheap i'm gonna label this video super cheap budget meals <laughs> Last but not least, this is going to be the last one for this video, but comment down below and let me know if you want to see another one. I have a whole notebook full of budget meals that I've broke down prices for, so let me know if you want another one. So last but not least is breakfast. Y'all, breakfast is dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Um, so classic breakfast for us is like eggs, biscuits, and gravy. Um, so for eggs, biscuits, and... Um, so I averaged up the biscuits for a can of Great Value brand biscuits. They're $1.18 right now. And then I like to get the uh, Country Gravy Dry Mixes. You can get them like in with the dry seasoning packets, like the taco um, and the other gravy packets. You can get them in with that. So they have the Country Gravy um, packets at Walmart for 92 cents a piece. I normally do two for um, our family. And it comes out to $4.00. And 33 cents for eggs biscuits and gravy now you can easily if you wanted to add some extra protein you can get some bacon bits just put in like with your scrambled eggs you can even do diced ham um, if you can find bacon on sale um, right now it's pretty pretty expensive for bacon if you can find some bacon on markdown for a couple bucks then you can add, you know add that in but there's so many options for breakfast you can do um you know like a casserole um that's another one of those things if you have a fully stocked you know pantry you can kind of round stuff out and like pull everything together and just kind of make overall meals 
Um, I had someone comment and like ask, they said that they just like really didn't understand how having a prepper pantry saves, um, like saves and helps your budget. And for us, yes, I'm paying full price for items unless I find them on sale to stock my prepper pantry. When I go and replenish for my prepper pantry, I'm more than likely paying full price for those items. But I'm having prepping and having food security for my family so say next week we literally have thirty dollars to spend on our grocery budget and that's it i have a fully stocked prepper pantry and freezer so that way i can go look at what we have on you know on the shelves and in stock at our house and i can base meals off of that and then i can you know go and do some get some do some budget meal ideas and round everything out and only purchase the items that I need for that week on that tight budget um, so it's not just having a prepper pantry and prepping is not just it's not all about budgeting um, yeah you're still paying still paying full price for those items you still have to pay to replenish those items but it's when you're in a super tight budget and um, like I said, you literally have $30 to spend to feed your family for a week. You're able to pull those items when need be and round your meals out and do complete meals. Um, like a couple years ago, like when I didn't have my prepper pantry, we were on such tight budgets. And, you know, you're literally having to go to the store and buy everything for those meals for the whole week because you don't have stuff in stock. If you stock food for your family, then when you need to have those tight weeks or tight months, you can use that food. Now, yes, you're gonna have to replenish it, but hopefully in the future, like that next week or the next month, your budget is, has a little bit more wiggle room and you can restock as your budget lets you. Um, that, and I don't, I don't know how else to explain that. <laughs> That's my best way that I can explain one of the reasons why I have such strong feelings about prepping and having that food security for my family so in case something happens and it is and it's not that's one thing I've talked about in my prayer pantry videos it's not just about emergencies it's not just about serious emergencies um, it gets us through month to month week to week depending on how our budget is um, and yeah, y'all see me do stock up hauls and that's when money allows. But there's times when we need to have tight weeks and I'm able to still have a full week of delicious meals because I have that food. That's And, and I get it, we all do budget meals. I do budget meals all the time. <laughs> all the time I do budget meals. And I bet if I took and looked through some old What's Her Dinner videos and took those meals and divided it out by cost for you guys, they're all gonna be budget meals because that's how we are. That's how we eat. That's how I shop. Um, but when you have all that stuff stocked up, you're able to say, get a roast one day, like one week, because you have that extra money in your budget because you're fully stocked and you don't have to worry about buying literally everything every single week. So I highly encourage when you're on a tight budget, like I said, if you have a dollar, if you have $5, Spend that extra money and put it back for your family. Hope you guys enjoyed these 10 super easy and delicious budget meals. Let me know in the comments down below what your go-to favorite budget meal is. I would love to know. Like I said, I enjoyed asking on Instagram because it was a lot of the same ones. A lot of people said the same ones and I feel like that's kind of how it's going to be here on YouTube. So y'all let me know, but don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.